it's me. <laughs> By this point, everybody and their grandmother has either tried or heard of rice water. But I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Hi, this is Curly no Kyojin. I'm Shireen. This is another video in the Curly Rehab series. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the scalp exfoliation video where I introduce the calendar and give you some suggestions on how to kick off your Curly Rehab month. I'm calling this Curly Rehab, but it's really just good hair care in general, no matter what hair type you have. One of the goals of this calendar is to help me and hopefully help you adopt good hair care habits to help stimulate and maintain good, strong hair. The other goal is to have a set of recipes that you can make wherever you are in the world. In Japan, I don't have access to many curly friendly products or brands. I do have access to rice and a variety of citrus fruits. Which brings us to today's video. So here is the curly rehab calendar. In the last video, we covered scalp exfoliation. I suggest you take one week before you officially start the calendar to prepare two recipes. That'll be the fenugreek oil and the rice water. Today, we're going to look at the rice water. The recipe that's gone viral and that you've most likely seen is one that requires you to ferment the rice in the water for 24 hours, use it, and then discard it before 48 hours. I'm not judging here. I used to do that one too. But then I found out that the original recipe doesn't follow those steps at all. While using rice water on hair goes back to the Heian period in Japan, today we're going to focus on the Yao women of China. The Yao women are from a village that has come to be recognized as the world's longest hair village in the Guinness World Records. Hair is sacred for the Yao women who only cut their hair once in their lifetime when they make the transition to adulthood. The secret for their long, beautiful black hair is in the way that they wash it with rice water. That's it, just rice water. No shampoo, no conditioner, just rice water. They also say that the fact that they've been washing their hair with rice water since they're young is the reason why Yao women reach the age of 80 without a single gray hair. Now that could be due to genetics as well, but still sounds good to me. Before we get into the recipe, let's talk about the benefits. Rice water promotes hair growth, strengthens and protects your hair, increases shine and helps detangle your hair all thanks to a variety of nutrients including amino acids vitamins b1 to 6 vitamin c vitamin e vitamin k minerals and antioxidants that's a lot let's get into the recipe the original recipe calls for rice fresh spring water, pomelo peel, and tea seed powder. If you have access to all of that, wonderful. You can follow the recipe almost to a T, because I mean, we'll never really know 100%. Some families have secret ingredients that they add to their recipes as well, so. But if you don't have access to all those ingredients, then hopefully this video will give you a recipe with more accessible ingredients. So we'll need one cup of rice, four to five cups of filtered water, it seems like the closest thing to the pomelo fruit is grapefruit. If you don't have access to grapefruit like me, then any citrus fruit will do. Let's talk about the tea seed powder used by the Yao women. Tea seed powder has cleansing properties, which means that it can be added to recipes to clean your scalp. In addition to using the rice water on your hair as a treatment and a conditioner, adding tea seed powder to it means you can also use it as a cleanser. However, the point of this series is to make recipes that are accessible for everyone. Well, the recipe I'm using today does not have any cleansing ingredients in it, which means I cannot use it as a cleanser slash shampoo. Not the tea seed powder contains dried camellia seeds. Camellia oil is actually quite popular in Japan, so while it's not an essential oil, I'm going to use it in my mix. Women in Japan have used it for skincare, hair care, and nail care. That being said, you can add a few drops of whatever favorite essential oil that you have. Now for the steps. Clean your rice of any grime. I'm not sure whether the Yao women do this step or not, but it just feels safer to me <laughs> this way. Step two, add the clean filtered water to your rice. Step three, this step is crucial. Rub the rice between your hands for at least five minutes. Don't skip this step. It's to get all that goodness out of the rice. Make sure you're thorough. Step four, peel the fruits of your choice. I went overboard here and used an orange, a lime, and a lemon, but you really only need one big one or two small ones. Step five, now you're going to pour the rice water into a pot and your rice does not go to waste. Do not waste food in this house, especially not rice. You can just cook your rice and eat it, it's fine. Step six, boil the rice water, add your fruit peels, add your cleansing ingredient here if you have them or your essential oils. I'm adding one teaspoon of camellia oil. Then let that boil for 10 to 15 minutes.
After that, turn the heat off, wait for it to cool, transfer it to a jar and store it away. Every day you want to take it out and swoosh it around before tucking it away again. The Yao women reportedly ferment their rice water for at least one to two weeks and up to a month, some of them even for three months before actually using it. Shitting, that's crazy! I heard it can only be fermented for 24 to 48 hours. That really hurts your voice. I sound like a busted chipmunk. I heard it can only be fermented for 24 to 48 hours. Yes. If you're using this version where you leave the rice to ferment in the water, but that's not what we're doing here. You can leave it to ferment for a while. I leave mine to ferment for one week. Now, application. Since there are no cleansing ingredients in my rice water, I shampooed my hair before using it. Pour the rice water into a bowl, flip your hair forward, and dip your scalp into the bowl. You want to saturate your whole hair and make sure you massage it into your scalp as well. Now, the Yao women also usually brush their hair out with a wooden comb as they rinse with the rice water. Just make sure you start from the ends and work your way up. See, it has such great slip to it that combing it out wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. And the Yao women leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do too. After that, you rinse it out and no need to use a conditioner. How often should you do a rice water rinse? It varies by the season, but typically the Yao women will wash their hair with rice water every two to three days. After this rice water recipe went viral, the one with the rice still in the water, many people were coming out and saying that using rice water frequently damaged their hair due to protein overload. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. That being said, I can't say whether their bad results came from the fact that they weren't using the Yao recipe, which I want to call the correct recipe, or maybe that it just didn't suit their hair type. I can never know. I personally have only ever tried doing a rice water rinse once a month, which is why you'll only see it once on my curly rehab calendar. And it's because of fear of potential protein overload. The Yao women have been using rice water in their hair for generations. Their genetics might just be accustomed to it at this point. What works for them might not work for you or me. Don't go into this blindly and start washing your hair with rice water every couple of days just because Yao women do it. Pay attention to how your hair reacts to the treatments that you're doing. If doing it more frequently suits you, that's great, keep doing that, but certainly ease into it. Don't just jump into it right away with washing your hair with rice water every couple of days. But again, honestly, just, just pay attention. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you tried the recipe. We still have to cover fenugreek oil and deep conditioning recipes, so make sure you subscribe and tune in. Thanks for watching.